In this video I'll explain how to reduce the space around a plot using the basic installation in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the plot that we can create in line 2 of the code. So if you run line 2 of the code you can see at the bottom right that we have created a new scatter plot which has some space around the plotting area. So let's assume that we want to reduce this space around the plotting area. Then we might apply the par function and within the par function we have to specify the ma argument and to the ma argument we have to specify a vector with a length of 4 and each of these values corresponds to the space on one side of the plot. So if you run line 4 of the code, our options for the plotting window are updated and you can see that by drawing our plot once again by running line 6 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a new version of our plot where the space, especially on the upper and on the right side of the plot, has been reduced. So in this first example I have shown you how to reduce the space around one plot. However, it's also possible to use the par function to reduce the space around a layout of multiple plots. And this is what I want to show you in the second example. However, in order to start this example we first need to reset our par options as you can see in line 8 of the code. So after running this line of code the options for the plotting window are reset. And then in the next step we also need to apply the par function once again to specify that we want to create a grid of plots. So in this case I want to create a grid of two rows and two columns. So if you run line 10 of the code our options for the plotting window are updated once again. And then in lines 12 to 15 of the code we can draw four plots in a grid of plots. So if you run line 12 of the code, the first plot at the top left is created, with line 13 another plot is created and with line 14 and 15 as well. So as you can see we have created a grid of four plots, however you can also see that the space around these plots is relatively large, so the plots themselves are not really good to see. So if we want to reduce the space around these plots we can again use the par function as you can see in line 17 of the code and in this line of code I'm using basically the same syntax as in line 4. So if you run line 17 of the code our options are updated once again and then in lines 19 to 22 of the code I'm drawing four plots again and after running these lines of code you can see that our grid of plots has been updated and as you can see the space around our plots has been reduced heavily. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.